Hello everyone, welcome to Jinghua Education, I'm Steven. In this video, we're going to talk about the introduction of exponent part 7, which is how to use what we have learned so far to do a complex uh, exponent expressions, and then how to simplify it. Uh, if you haven't done the first six part, please uh, go back to check it out. Uh, otherwise, it's really hard to follow because a lot of uh, the basic rules uh, we talked about the first six part is uh, going to apply here. Okay, so let's see the question here. All right, so we have uh, the first one. We're going to simplify this. Okay, so as we have talked about in part three and four, I think, um, we're going to match the like terms. So constant term looking for constant terms, A term looking for A term, B term looking for B terms, C term looking for C terms. All right, then the 10 divided by 5, which is equal to 2. And then A7 divided by A6, the power divided by power equal to power subtract, right? So which is A to the power of 7 minus 6, which is 1. So we don't write 1 here. Uh, B9 minus B10. So we B9 minus 10, which is negative 1. And then C6 minus 8. So C, power divided by power equal to power subtract, right? 6 minus 8 equal to negative 2. It's not done yet. Okay, so 2A is done. So B, negative 1 power equal to 1 over B, right? So it is, B is in the denominator. And then C, negative 2 which is equivalent to 1 over c squared, right? So c squared is also in the denominator. All right, good. All right, so that is the final answer here. All right, the next one. Negative 3 over 12. Okay, negative 3, this negative is it's the sign. It's a positive negative. It's not equal to power, okay? So don't uh, make them equal to 1 over 3. This is not correct. So negative 3 over 12 just equal to negative 1 over 4. All right, 8 minus 7 minus 4. So 8 equal to negative 7 minus 4 equal to negative 11. Okay, B negative 11 minus negative 3. So negative 11 minus negative 3, so which is equal to B negative 8. Okay, so let's try. So negative 1 over 4, right? So 4 on the denominator. a to the power of negative 11 means a to the power of positive 11 in the denominator. b to the power of negative 8 equal to b to the positive 8 in the denominator, and then we're done. Make sense? OK, as long as you see the negative powers put on the denominator, and then you're done. Good. Next one. OK, for the c and the d, we can try a uh, um, okay, let's let's for C. Let's do the uh, traditional way. Okay, so two over five to the power of negative three, right? So negative three going to apply each one of these terms, right? Okay, so two over five to the power of negative three, and then negative three to the power of negative three, and then negative one to the power of negative three. All right, so these things equal to 2 to the power, it's a 1 over 2 to the over 5 to the power of 3. Okay? And that one is negative 3 times negative 3. Why? Because power of power equal to power multiply, right? So which is equal to 8 to the power of 9. And then power of power equal to negative 1 times negative 3 equal to b to the positive 3 here. Okay? So, so this is on the top, this on the top. This one we can just uh, simplify it. 2 to the power of 3 equal to 8. So 1 over 8 over 125, right? So A nice, B 3. So let's flip this. 1 divided by 8 over 125 equal to 1 times 125 over 8. And then A nice, B 3. And we're done. Okay, so that's the final answer here. Okay, the last one. Okay, the last one, we can do a little bit of trick here. So you see negative sign here, right? We know negative sign going to be on the denominator. We can switch inside. We can flip it inside. So what do I mean flip it? So we got negative 2 here, right? We just change to positive 2. 
and then inside here. So the top go to the bottom, bottom go to the top. So top is a 4a square b cube, and then the top bottom equal to 8ab5. We just flip it and then change the negative sign into positive one. It's the same. You can try to make the entire things on the denominator and then 1 over it. You will find out it's exactly the same thing. Okay, and then we simplify inside 8 and then 4 is just 2. 8 over 8, 2, uh, 8 squared, so it will be 1 minus 2 is 8, negative 1. And then b5 divided by b3 is a b2 to the power of 2. So the final one will be equal to 2 applied to here. To apply to 2 here will be 4. A applied to will be A negative 2 and then B fourth. The final step is 4 is on the top, B fourth on the top, but A square is on the bottoms. And that's it. Alright, so I hope you learned something. And then I, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Uh, it's a help a lot. And then if you have any questions, please comment below. I will answer your question in my next video. Thank you for watching.